Hi everyone, this is Tess and welcome to my science blog. I'm going to perform a very simple experiment about beak adaptation. So this is in relation to my topic on evolution. And maganda tong experiment na to because aside from this is very simple, the students can actually do this at home. Kaya tamang-tama siya ngayon naka-online class sila or nagmo-modular class. The purpose of this activity is to know which of these beaks is best in picking more food materials under time pressure. Because definitely, um, in an environment where there is a very high competition among different bird species, the one who can pick more food will most likely survive. And the one who cannot pick more food will become extinct. The artificial beaks that I'm going to use, chopsticks, and then I have clothespin, tweezers, and scissors, because this can actually be used in picking as well. So just in case um, these materials are not available in your house, you can substitute other materials that are used for picking uh, food or any other materials. And definitely I have plates here where I will be placing the, the food material. And yung pagkain na gagamitin ko is, tada, boy bawang. Pwede namang green peas, pwede chips, as long as pare-pareho sila. When I say pare-pareho, um, huwag kang gagamit ng mixed nuts or ding-dong na iba-iba yung nasa pack. Kasi syempre, may factor din yan na may mga parts doon sa mixed nuts na mas madaling ipik, may mga parts sa mixed nuts na mahirap ipik ng artificial beak. So, mas maganda to really control the variables in your experiment, mas maganda para pareho yung hitsura ng food material na gagamitin mo. And then, aside from this, since this will be under time pressure, so you need a timer. You can just use your cell phone for the timer. Now, just a reminder, because definitely um, if you will not be uh, very careful in controlling the variables of your experiment, the result in this experiment will definitely be affected. So if you will be performing this with a partner or in a group, um, when you do the trials, it is better if it is just one person who will be performing everything. Why? Because definitely, um, if I will do the first trial and I'm an expert in using chopsticks, so it's expected that I might get food materials on the first trial compared to my group mate who is not that expert in using chopsticks, right? So in this case, um, there will be uh, differences now in the result, which is not so reliable. So to make sure that um, the result is really reliable, better just have one person to perform all the trials. Here's the procedure. Una una, place all the food in a plate. And then get ready with your timer. So in this case, within 30 seconds, I'm going to pick the food material on this plate and transfer it here using each of these artificial beak. So the first beak that I'm going to use is the chopstick. So let's have 30 seconds for this. I'll click start in my timer. Stop. So at this point in time, I'm going to count how many um, corn did I get using the chopstick. So, it, and then I'll just return it here and just recycle it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so I have fourteen. Left. And then after that, I will once again repeat the process with another artificial beak. So let's have the clothespin this time. Let's see how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, only twelve. So let's have the tweezers. And how many did I get? Oh, <laughs> I only got five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Now, 
let's have the last one we have the scissors so let me start the time my time is up so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve So here is the result. Chopsticks got 14.6 average, clothes spin 15, tweezers 4.3, and scissors 18. So yung bird na mamamatay at magiging extinct ay yung bird na may tweezer beak. At you may higher chance for survival over the others and can pass on their trait from one generation to another is the bird with scissors beak. Ayan. So, thank you so much for being with me. Before you go, please don't forget to click the subscribe button in my YouTube channel as well as the bell icon. This is Tess signing off. Bye-bye.